nuclear blast triggers, Yellowstone supervolcano eruption. Some may remember more specifically triggering a volcanic eruption by detonating a nuclear weapon inside an active volcano. The supervolcano sits beneath Yellowstone National Park. It is a massive volcano with a two-tiered magma chamber system. One chamber is about 56 miles long and 25 miles wide, and the other, deeper chamber, is about 4.5 times larger, though only a small portion of both chambers are melted. Contrary to popular belief, if this volcano were to erupt, it would not destroy life on the planet. However, some models suggest that it could cause significant damage to about three quarters of the United States, wiping out about 90% of the population living within 621 miles of the site. Such a massive explosion would have a significant impact on the world's climate, as even smaller eruptions have caused changes in weather and temperature that have affected life in the past. While it wouldn't kill us, it would certainly change our society, cause a lot of loss of life and affect the environment. So why would you want to trigger something like this with a nuclear weapon? Outside of science fiction, few people would do it, but we do enjoy a good thought experiment, and it seems to be one that many people have pondered over the years. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory says that if you set off a nuclear explosion in Yellowstone, it wouldn't have much of an effect. Earthquakes are far more powerful than any nuclear weapon ever tested, and even that didn't cause the volcano to explode. For example, the 2011 Tohoku earthquake that hit Japan measured nine on the Richter scale, the strongest ever recorded in the country. It released energy equivalent to an explosion of around 2,000 megatons, but the most powerful nuclear weapons tests only had an explosion of 50 megatons. While Yellowstone has never been hit by an earthquake of this magnitude, it has been hit by major quakes including a magnitude 7.3 quake that struck Hebgen Lake in 1959. This quake was powerful compared to any nuclear weapon explosion, but it did not trigger an eruption. Detonating a nuclear weapon in Yellowstone would destroy its beautiful scenery and kill its wildlife, but it would not trigger an eruption. Even if one of the most powerful bombs were detonated underground, it is unlikely to create enough energy to crack the rock overhanging the caldera. Historically, nuclear tests have been conducted in underground settings, but while they can produce quite large shock waves, the resulting craters have been very small. For example, in 1962, Operation Plowshare tested a 104 kiloton explosion in the Nevada desert and created a crater only about 320 feet deep. However, there are a few ways that a volcano could erupt, at least in theory. First, you could crack the rock that lines the high-pressure magma chamber. This will allow the magma to escape in the form of molten shards.
You can also create explosive bubbles by adding more dissolved gas to the volcano. If you inject enough water into the magma, you can cool it and trigger crystallization. The buildup of more gas or crystallization will cause the magma to become supersaturated, adding buoyancy and generating more pressure. However, these are all geological and natural processes. Humans currently have no way to produce such results artificially. So, evil geniuses who want to threaten the world will have to look elsewhere for inspiration.